Let's get some practice using DNF from the command line on a recent Fedora system. So in order to do that, first we'll have to bring up the command line. So I'll do that with activities and I'll click on the terminal icon at the bottom and I've got a nice command line terminal and I'll make it a little bit bigger because the, the font's bigger that is because uh, it's hard to see with the smaller fonts. And then first let's get a list of all packages that have the string bzip2 in their name. So I'll do that with DNF list. And the first packages that will come up will be the ones that are already installed. So let me scroll up a little because there's a really long list here. So there I have the actual program bz2, a development package in case I want to write code that uses bzip2 in, internally. And then uh, bzip2 libs would be used by programs that have bzip2 already built into them. The two I'm going to be interested in installing here are the lbzip2 packages. lbzip2 is a parallel version of bzip2 that can separate the amount of work into a number of pieces that can be done simultaneously. So, for instance, if you had four processors or cores, you could split the work up into four pieces and do them all at the same time and then merge them at the end and in theory it could run almost four times as quickly. So let's try to install the utilities package. I'll do sudo dnf install libbzip2 yeah I guess it's lbzip2 bzip2 utils. And you'll see, yes, it's happy to do that, but it also needs the lbzip2 package, which it depends on. So I say yes, I'll just type y, and it will install the two packages. Um, I probably have a program now called lbzip2, but let's check if that's the case with which. And yes, I do. So I could go ahead and use it now if I wanted. If I don't really want these installed and I want to clean up with them, I could do uh, something like as you do DNF remove lbzip2. And you notice it's happy to remove it, but it's telling me that because lbzip2 utils depends on lbzip2, if I remove lbzip2, I better remove them both. Otherwise, I'll have an unsatisfied dependency, so I'll just say yes. So that's just a really simple uh, example of using DNF from the command line. Unfortunately, recent Red Hat based systems do not have a really good graphical package management utility. Fedora has something called DNF Dragon, but it can be rather slow to load and a little bit buggy. And there's nothing at all for Red Hat 8 or CentOS 8. So uh, experienced developers will just always tend to do things from the command line.